Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever the time may be. Welcome back. It is day 66 here on the third season and our 150th hour overall playing on this account. And it may be the last. Who knows? Today we're going to take one more stab at a 150 invocation level. This is the big 150 in all regards. We have been at the final boss and had it within sniffing distance two days in a row. If today goes badly, I'm gonna go and do some more training before coming to try it again. But if today goes well, we're done. So let's see how it goes. I've got my lucky dice shirt on. It's not a lucky shirt, I'm just claiming it is because it has dice on it. And I got my lucky DDS strapped to the back of my uh, back of my microphone here. It's, it's not broken tip, it's just poisoned. It doesn't show up on green screen. So, <laughs> it's gonna help me today, it's gonna bring me all the ruby specs, we hope. Uh, I don't think I geared up at the end of yesterday, I think I just like slapped everything in the bank and logged, so I'm gonna have to do that right now. Yeah, that's unfortunate, I actually had time left at the end of yesterday, I should have put gear on, I stopped the clock early and logged. That's okay, it won't take us more than two seconds here. Ooh, we're low on venom and range pots. Okay, two of them should be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully we're okay with just two doses of anti-venom. There's not really another option, so... Right, but I am actually taking this combat this time. And then we want to pre-pot with the range pot. A stamina dose. Okay. And we make a party, in we go. And we are doing Zebak first again. Fingers crossed that we get a smooth croc room and it doesn't have a nibble like it did yesterday. A nibble? A drink? A sip? Sup. Come on. I want to try my best to avoid any unnecessary damage here because I always play it fast and loose usually and I don't think we need to rush. I'm not that worried about time now. Like when we first started I was unsure if we'd have the time to just get the raid done but I'm not that worried about that anymore now that I've seen how fast we can move through some of the rooms. So I think it's better to just conserve every little thing by making sure we're smooth. Should be safe here. There we are. Uh, although I do have to drop something to equip my blowpipe. So I'll have to keep that in mind. In fact, let's just drop a mana right here right now. So we can unequip the defender as it does give us slightly negative wrenched accuracy. Need all the help we can get here because we can't re-up that port as always. Or not as always, but as yesterday. Slow going. Very slow going. There we go. I'll get things moving a little. Yeah, the hits are not coming thick and fast at the minute. They are thin and slow. There we go, there's another one. That's two. Third spec. It's very acidy around here right now. No, you didn't. Just gonna eat that manta. Pick up the old one. <laughs> There's a hit points level. Man, who needs to go to do training? Just train up in the raid. What am I doing though? I don't know if I'm gonna be safe on long range here, so I'm not gonna risk it. Probably blow pipe time, to be honest. Our range boost is almost gone, so this last phase is gonna be a bit of a pain. Both specs missed as well. Oh, I missed one. That's bad. Okay, good job we finished him. 
lost focus for like one second and that was all it took. Okay. I am just gonna pause this time because I need to turn my heating down. I'm sweaty in here. I should always turn it off before I start recording because I'll always get too hot and sweaty under the lights and shit. I just forget sometimes. Okay. On to Scabarus. I think I've got a system for this now. Look at that. First time. I've got a system. So I have the diagonal ones as one, two, three, and four. And then we have top, bottom, left, right, middle. And I just list them in my head. And 34. I'm moving slow because I'm doing my explanation. Yeah, so I think then it was like one, three, left, top, right, or something. I, I don't, I'm not paying attention. I should just show up talking and do this fucking puzzle. My brain hasn't kept track of where any of these are. This might be a boot. No, that's a wave. That's a boot. Yeah, energy looking low. Run energy, I mean. Although I feel like it might go up to 100 when you enter the boss room. Not 100% sure. <sighs> right then. Kepri, Super Combat, Piety. In we go. Yeah, well, 100 energy. Useless specs as always. It's been a slow start. Looks like we're going to get a double dung in P1. Damn, I always take the first wave of hits from those guys because I'm just... I always forget they're coming out. <laughs> I feel like we've been moving slower today, overall. But like I say, we've been having a decent amount of time left on the clock when we're at the end of the runs that we've failed. You know, it would only add like an extra 30 seconds or something to get it from where we were, so... Theoretically, we're fine. Did I just run into an explosion because my character's passing like an idiot? I don't know what the fuck just happened there. This was not a great phase, though. Loads of those scarabs got through that. Took a couple of hits as well. Okay, she only just healed over full, so it's not too bad, but could have been a lot cleaner. I don't know, maybe this is better though. If I'm having like a perfect run, like both the previous two days, then they haven't worked. So maybe an imperfect early stage of the run is fine, and then we'll have some better luck later. I don't know. Because I feel like I've hit so many zeros on the Warden at this point. That first phase, especially yesterday, we had terrible luck on compared to the day before. Like, we just got robbed there of all our supplies. Oh, it's a shame we don't have range pots for this mage. That could actually be bad. Straight on him. Don't want to let him get an attack off on me. There we are. Okay. Ooh, I thought I was too slow then. Oh, I was too slow. I took damage gonna try not to use any supplies here because I don't think we need to and if we can conserve them that's better. Using prayers fine because we've had plenty left over but we have been running out of food recently so I don't just want to chomp out of habit when I can blood up. If it takes a bit longer that's okay. And the danger points are over now so we're just riding out the fight. Let's see if I can kill these guys with blood. Oh no. If it one hit it I was gonna it would let me turn my range prayer off, that's all I was thinking. But it only lasts until they respawn anyway. Yeah, so I'll just re-up the super combat, it was bad timing on it, but... Yeah, these hits come faster, please. I'm not gonna need it again for this raid, so... Any hits? Okay. I'm not sure how great we're doing on time, it feels slow, but we've only ate a single Manta so far, and used two almost three restores uh tempting as always but the liquid adrenaline too important for the end of Akka and for wardens so we will be taking that of course and we'll put this super combat potion away because we don't need any more we will need that anti-venom dose potentially during the vent uh, the monkey room so but we should be okay with just that one as long as i don't step in the acid too many times I can get away with one or two mistakes still with the one dose. Don't really want to make a mistake like that though. Let's avoid the shadows where we can today. It's another place where I take unnecessary damage because I'm rushing too much. And that could be what's costing me these runs ultimately. Oh my gosh, he says as he gets hit again. Oh, I thought I ran over that one. I think I'm gonna have to just sip one or two brew doses because I don't feel comfy going into Akko on this much HP. 
I mean, we can blow it up. It would be the safer thing to do, conserving supplies even more, but... We're gonna have to do another down anyway, so... It wasn't worth taking that hit there. Okay, this should be the seal. Right, I'm just gonna do my best to heal up with bloods rather than use anything that I don't absolutely have to. We won't need the crossbow yet. Oh my gosh, I brought the pickaxe. I can't put that in the pot either. I'm gonna have to drop it. This was the last attempt anyway, so until a break, potentially. That's a shame, but I think it's the right call to just drop it and save the invent space because I'll need it later. Uh, feels bad, man. Okay. Let's go. Please let me get plenty of time on blood. And hits. I would like hits too, not just time. Might help if the defender's not on. It's a bit too slow healing for my liking. Starting to think I should have brewed a bit before coming in here. No! I probably didn't need to eat the mana there, but I did. I was bad on that one. Oh, why do I keep doing that? I don't know why, because I'm an idiot, but I'm going to have to eat a bit. Okay, that's all the shadows down, I'm pretty sure. Oh, what was the last one, please? I fucking hate myself. Oh. Shit. Not fully healed is not fun here. Ran straight into that one. And that one. Please. Thank you. Dropped the ball. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's don't move when he does the orb thing on you. Like, don't drop an, a, an orb. Okay, I'm trying to move fast here so we can make use of this liquid adrenaline if possible. Did I just tank both doses of the liquid adrenaline? Oh. Shit. Not fully healed is not fun here. I'm a fucking idiot. That's this run in the bin, probably. I, were, I think we're a bit fucked without that uh, uh, Wardens. We need it for P2 to not have a million downs. I may have just fucked this run on double drinking that adrenaline. I really hope I haven't, but I think I have. Sorry, everyone. So much for 150 on 150. Oops. First major mistake of the room. Stepping on that Venom that. Honestly, I think we had a pretty clean, clean run there. I usually end up making a few mistakes and spending things in monkeys, but I didn't use any resources. Though our prayer and hit points are lower than when we came in here. But we didn't spend anything to get in through it, so we've still got four full brews. The restores are looking light, but four full brews is good, so we're just going to top up ever so slightly here. And then we will top up the prayer as well, because we need it. And we will pop these salts and get our gear on ready for Baba. Not many specs at the minute, but that's okay. They don't tend to do a great deal against him. The fact that we don't have that adrenaline is going to hurt so much. Because we might have to do like four downs during P2, maybe even five, if we can't get good DPS. Because we have to take life the way that things have been going. There's no way we do it without absolute maximum resources. So we have to take life from the chest, which means we're not going to get an adrenaline. Like, guaranteed not going to. Why is my range prayer on? It's meant to be melee prayer. Monkey's kind of roasting me. Glad he just got killed by a boulder. Uh, I'm going to have to brew up here. Kind of sucks. I'm going to wait till... A little bit more damage comes through. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh. Danger. Oh no. That could have been bad. I mean, it was bad, but it could have been worse. Oh, I hate these little monkeys. They deal so much damage. Please, let me get the last hit. There we go. Oh my gosh, they almost killed me then. Okay, the clock is looking a little low, and so are we. Uh, we've got two full brews and restores left, so that's okay. Two bandages here, one ambrosia. We don't have our liquid adrenaline, which trust me is going to hurt. You'll see just how quickly, how quickly it hurts. 
Okay, I'm just going to get my stuff out of the bag that we know we want. Which is going to be most of it, I think. Because we've got a clean ass invent at the minute. That's like it. We've basically got everything. But we've got one left of each in the bag, so... Still got a little bit left on our salts as well, so I'm going to let them last as long as they can. Right, come on. Do not rob me like you did in this phase yesterday. I got absolutely shafted here yesterday. Just give me some hits, please. Okay, the nice thing is we do have two bandages today, so I can feel a little bit better about bandaging these first sets of balls, which will mean that our DPS stays stronger rather than brewing up like we did yesterday. Well, this is going to be dangerous. Oh my. Maybe I'll let that get a little bit close there, y'all, but I'm going to try and let the bandages do the work for me. I'm going to have to brew a little here. Looks like we're just going to eat two sets today, which is way better than yesterday. We sank an entire two brews and a bandage here yesterday. So far, it's looking like one brew, one bandage. Although, I don't want to get cocky and eat another here. We need to, need to hit this. Please. Soon. Soon, please. Come on, give me that last one. Please. We're definitely hitting this. I hope we can dodge that. Yes. That'll be enough. Okay, I'm going to resalt now because it was about to run out. And we will just brew up here. Get on this guy. Right, this is going to be the longest phase by far. Because we're going to have to do... I'm fairly certain we'll have at least four downs. We usually have three. So without the adrenaline, there's no way it's not four. It could be five, that's the bad thing. Depends how lucky. Well, oh, I don't suppose it is luck, is it? Looking for the adrenaline I don't have. <sighs> okay, we got him about third there. Not great, but probably about as good as we can hope for. Just gonna brew up a lull here. Oh no. Just took a hit. That's not good. I'm gonna bandage here. I just need to be comfy for a sec. Not lose DPS because time is ticking. If we fail today, it's due to time because of the liquid adrenaline that would have saved a lot of time. We haven't done a run without it before, so I have no idea how feasible it is. That was a bit sloppy. Very slow phase. We got one spec back at least. I think I'm going to Scarab as well. Man, the blowpipe's range is the worst when dealing with these. Oh no. Misclick. Oh no. Bad time to brew. Really bad time to brew. Okay, it's looking like four phase. Oh no, we're getting clapped. Bandage. Trying to use bandage. Oh no, Amber is here as well. Okay, that was not good. Bad sequence. It's okay. We used some resources there that I would have liked to have those for that last phase of Wardens. I know it's rough, but I didn't want to tank all my brews there. To try and out heal and then lose so much DPS as well. Man, our salts have almost run out. This phase has taken so long. <laughs> Good job I didn't quaff both of them as well, isn't it? There we go. Right. The supplies are looking a little dry, but I don't know. It's probably probably around similar to what we've had previous times. Oh, that's a nice way to start. Didn't even have my gear on yet. Oh! It's a really nice way to start. Salt's just ran out. I should probably re-up them. Eight minutes should be plenty of time to see the rest of this if we are gonna get it done. I mean, we're past the point of the liquid adrenaline admiring, so we are back in potential territory here if I don't make too many mistakes. So I'm actually gonna be a bit quieter and focus up here, see if we can send it home. <laughs> Thank you. 
DPS in this phase is just not good. I'm not quite sure what happened there, folks. I thought we had that. We are doing really, really well there. And then I think I missed a press switch from Akka. I took a hit. And then I wasn't sure if I got the heal off or not. Or if it KO'd me. There you have it. The series goes on. We need some more range levels. <laughs> Honestly, if I can get my range level a little higher, our DPS will be so much better in that last phase. If we have anything that could increase our ranged accuracy as well, like better range gear, that'd be better. But to do that, we'd need to save some supplies somehow by increasing our defense as well. So I'm considering trying chins and maybe taking them to the armored zombies, although we're likely to take a lot of hits doing that. I don't know. I don't know right now. I'm sure I'll figure it all out. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. I thought we could have had that then. Did kind of just choke at the last minute, unfortunately. But hey-ho, is what it is. I'm sure we'll come back harder and stronger and get them sometime in the next few days. Just wondering if there's anything I can do to actually make use of this time rather than signing off early. It's not only to sell, really. Ferox still, maybe. Oh, we might need to get him prepared, repaired at Bob. Probably don't want to be on the Ancient Spellbook anymore, just for now. So, let's go reset. I've never died this much to in Rage Phase at 1. It's never something I've struggled with. Never been something I've struggled with. Where am I going? So, this is definitely new for me. I guess her defense probably ra it raises during the Enrage Phase. I should look it up, really, but I'm kind of assuming that's the case, as it seems to be the case with a lot of bosses. But yeah, we just don't do enough damage in comparison to the damage she deals to us. Didn't mean to go to Miscellanea. Fuck that tree though. How much Archians? Because we don't have a lot of disposable income at the minute. We'd have to sell some gear off to get some. We spent a lot of our money really on stuff that we need for raids. So. And supplies that we've now used. Black chins are going to be hella expensive, aren't they? Yeah, what about normal ones? Red chins are half the price. What about the cheapest ones? Is that even going to be worth buying? I could cannon for ranged XP as well. That's another way. Just go cannon some green dragons like back in the day. Won't get me defense though. How many black chins can we actually get? Probably barely a thousand, which won't get me anywhere. Yeah, we, we can't even get 300. Oh, gonna have to have a little thing, folks. Maybe we'll go back to the Scurrius. Just do some defense training there. I suppose we could do long range training on the Bone Short Bow and get both ranged and defense that way. I don't know how effective it'd be on long range though. I don't know what tick speed it is. Yeah, it's an extra. It's four ticks on long range, three otherwise. So probably not the most efficient thing to do. Yeah, I'll have to have a think. Have a think, come up with some methods. But I think the main problem is our ranged DPS in the final phase of Wardens. That's what's holding us back at the minute. The rest of it, we've got pretty cracked. It's just, she deals a lot of damage to us. If we make a single mistake, that can be enough to KO us. And we have to spend too long in the phase because our damage output isn't high enough. Which means it gets to the point where things are harder and harder as you have less area to walk on. And I thought my movement was actually really, really good in that fight there at the end. Maybe that's the thing. I was too focused on the movement and I missed Akka for a second and that's all it takes. Yeah, the series goes on. At least for a little while longer, folks. Hope y'all are still going to be sticking around and continuing to enjoy it with me. For now though, that is going to be all, so make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Lucky DDS, you weren't lucky enough, I'm sorry. Get that out of there. Can't even stab anyone, there's no in it, it's just blunt. Yeah. Good old shadow dagger, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing.
I'm covering for the fact that I just died for the third day in a row. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, see you on the next one.